everyone i'm cynthia and you're welcome to my channel so today we are going to be making this beautiful v-shaped cape top that you see me putting on here so on this video i'll be teaching you how to make this top i'll be teaching you the two methods that you can use to achieve this one i'll be teaching you how to use 360 degree flare to achieve this same top that you see me putting on here and i'll also be teaching you guys how to use this method that i used to also achieve this one so if this is something you want to learn how to make i would say you should keep watching this video to the end and please if it's your first time you are coming across my channel or my videos please do wait to hit the subscribe button and join this beautiful family and also turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload new videos and to my returning subscribers you guys have a special place in my heart thank you guys so much for always watching my video and please do not forget to also give this video a thumbs up please leave a comment at the comment section so we are going to be seen on the comment section so if you really love this this stuff that i put on please do not forget to leave a comment at the comment section thank you guys so much so welcome back so for you to be able to achieve this particular top that you see right now you'll be needing two fabric one for the cape and one for the body of the dress so this particular one you'll be needing two years of it so this particular one you'll be needing two years of it why for the cape part this part you'll be needing just one yard one yard will be enough so we are going to be dropping this one aside so that we can cut the upper bodies and guys i'll be cutting this direct on the fabric i won't be using any pattern paper so i'll be adding all my sewing allowance every thin on this fabric so we'll go ahead and fold it by two first after folding it by two we'll go ahead and fold it again so we'll be folding this into four so that we can cut our front and our back cape that is the neck part the upper part so i'll fold this into four as you can see so that part now will be serving as our shoulder so i'll go ahead and measure it if i can get my required shoulder measurement so that was okay it was up to my required shoulder measurement with extra allowance so i'll just go ahead and use my ruler and draw a straight line at that point as you can see me doing right now so that line will be serving as our shoulder line and our starting point line so i'll go ahead and place my tape at the middle of that of the of the folded part so i'll be tape putting it there and i'll be marking my shoulder measurement so my shoulder was 16 divided by 2 i have it and i also add half inch allowance so also go ahead and mark my neck line so my neckline i was working with was um 4.05 but i mark four inches because that i'll be turning this with a lining so at that shoulder part i'll be going down by one inch for the shoulder slant and i'll be connecting that to the neckline like so so that's how i'll go about connecting it so now i'll be placing my tape at that shoulder to determine the length of the cape so the length of this cape will be 13 which is my under bust um, um length so i mark 13 and i also add half inch for the stitching for the joining allowance what i'll be using to join this cape with the measure fabric so i also go ahead and mark my neckline so my neckline is supposed to be 7.05 but i mark 7 inches because i'll be using half inch to turn this so now i'll be using my ruler to connect those lines together so i'm connecting the neckline and the neck depth as you can see then i also go ahead and connect from my shoulder to that my cape length so that is for my shoulder to my underboss that is the length of the cape which is 13 which i added half inches to make it 13 and a half for the joining so that is what i was i did so as you can see i'm done doing that so now I'll go ahead and add half inch at that shoulder what i'll be using to join the two shoulder that is the back and the front shoulder together so that is what i'm marking right now so i'll be using my ruler to connect those those together so i just went up by half an inch so now just make those line more visible for you to see as you can see me doing so i'll just trying to make the lines more visible so once i'm done doing this i'll just go ahead and use my scissors to cut so this is what our v-shape cape um the v-shape cape will be looking like that is the neck part will be looking like as you can see so just go ahead and cut it out like this so once i'm done cutting it out i'll be opening it for you guys to see what it's looking like right now so i can see this is what it's looking like as you can see this is what it's looking like 
So this is the V shape cape that we'll be using for the neck part. So I'll go ahead and cut extra two piece of this. So I'll be cutting it on, I'll be cutting the same fabric for this because I'll be using one for the lining piece and the other for the main and uh, the main part. So now you can see I have four pieces of this particular cape. So I have four pieces. So now I'll go ahead and bring out two each. So I'll be using the same thing for the lining piece. So I'll go ahead and bring out two like this. And I'll be turning the neck part. So I'll go ahead and stitch that neck part like this. As you see me showing you on the screen right now. So I'll just go ahead and stitch the neck part like that. I'll be doing the same thing on the other part as well. So one will be serving as the front and one will be serving as the back. So I'll just make a little notch there. It will guide me while stitching this. So I'm just making a notch there so that while stitching it, it will guide me and to make my V shape to come out very nice. I don't want to have something looking on. You understand what I mean? So guys, I'm done stitching this. As you can see, I'm done stitching it like this. So I'll just go ahead and make that stitch more visible so that it can be more closer to that rope. That is a line. So when I turn this, it will come out beautiful and nice. As you can see, it's looking all beautiful and nice. So I'll go ahead and turn this out as you see me doing right now. And when I'm done turning it, I'll go ahead and iron this. So make sure you iron yours so that it will come out beautiful and nice and more relaxed. So just go ahead and iron it as you can see. So I'm done ironing this as you can see. It's looking more neater and more beautiful and even more relaxed right now. So now it's time for us to join our shoulder. So I'll just go ahead and join this shoulder the normal way I usually join my, my, my dress, the shoulder of my dress. So I'll just go ahead and bring out one part of the lining piece. So I'll be turning it and I'll be bringing, I'll be putting that one in between it and I'll be doing it like this. I hope you understand what I mean. So one will be in between the other one. So I'll go ahead and make a stitch there and I'll be doing the same thing at the other shoulder. So guys, I'm done turning it as you can see. So I'll go ahead and open this up so you'll see how it is looking. So I've turned this, as you can see, both the inside and the outside is very neat. So I'll go ahead and bring our fabric for the bodies of this top. So guys, first, I'll be showing you how you go about cutting this in a 360 degree peplum flame. So you can see it's unfold. Is on four. So if you don't want to make this gather, you can cut it in a 360 degree flame method. So that is what I'm trying to do an illustration of right now. So that part is on four. So if you don't know how to cut your 360 degree flame, I have a detailed tutorial on that and I'll be dropping the link at the description box. So you go ahead and place your tape at the uh, at the top part so you'll be marking but the full length of your top for me the full length was 23 so i'll just go ahead and mark 23 all through in a circular form like this just watch what i'm doing you can't see my chalk very well because i wasn't going to use this 360 degree method to make mine so i was just trying to illustrate it for you guys so in case if you don't want the gathered method you can use the 360 degree flame so once i'm done doing that you'll be bringing that cape and you'll be be placing it like this so that you can cut out the neck part so you just place it like this and you go ahead and cut it out like this let me show you yes cut it out from that part so that part that is the part you'll be joining to the major dress so you just cut it out from there and that is all for you to have a 360 degree flay so guys i'm done illustrating that now i'll move into how i'll go about making mine so this was the method i use i use the gather method so you know that our african print usually come in the length is usually 45 inches so i'll go ahead and trim out those edges so when i'm done trimming out those edges you'll find out that i'll be having um 44 inches so now this is on fold as you can see so i'll just go ahead and trim it out i remember we are working with two years of fabric i told you that the body you'll be needing two years of fabric for that so i'll go ahead and trim out the edges as you see me doing right now 
I hope you guys can see what I'm doing and you also understand what I'm trying to explain here. So now once I'm done doing that, I'll be folding this into four. So when I minus 13, that is 13 was the length of the cape. So when I minus 13 from 23, what I'll be having is 10. So now I divide 44 divided by four it was giving me 11 and that 11 is okay because i'll be using that one inch to hem and also join my dress to the remaining part of the um to the cape so that was more than that so i went ahead to fold it like this as you can see i'm trying to fold this into four just watch very carefully to see how i fold this particular the method i used to fold it but uh, here and i'm folding it again that is the second time and i'll be folding it the third time which make it this piece will be four pieces so when i open up the folded edge i'll be having four pieces which i'll be joining together so guys if you do not want to fold it this method you can just go ahead and measure the required length that you need for your dress and you cut it out straight is you mustn't fold it like this to get that you understand what i mean but mine i just fold it like this because it's more easier for me to separate them so you can see what i'm doing right now is i'm separating it out like i'm separating all the piece to out so that will be left with 11 inches so that is what I just did. So when I'm done separating this, I'll be having four pieces, which you can also just cut your straight like that. You can just cut your straight, like just divide your 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 pieces into four for your required length, or if it's three, depending on the length you are working with. So this is what I mean by if you separate it, it will come out in four pieces. So I'll go ahead and join all these pieces, and I'll be showing you guys what it looks like. It will be very long. So guys, this is what it's looking like. You can see even though that I is on fold, you can't even see everything. So this is what it's looking like. So while joining this, I hem the damp part, as you can see, to save time. So I hem the damp part and I also form a gather stitch there. So for you to form your gather stitch, just make a loose stitch, like two two ropes of a loose stitch so i'll go ahead and bring out the mouth and i'll be gathering it so i'll just go ahead and do that and show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what the gather is looking like right now and it's unfold as you can see so this is what the gather is looking like right now so i'll go ahead and bring the cape and show you guys how i'll go about joining this to the cape so this is what it's looking like and this is our cape as you can see so I'll just go ahead and pick my gather piece and I'll be notching the center of it so that it will guide me while joining because I'll be joining this from the center of that cape to the other center of the cape to the back center. So I'll just go ahead and open my cape like this. And you make sure that you are placing the right side facing each other. That is the right side of the gather piece and the cape facing each other. And you'll be pinning from that center part. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just go ahead and pin from the center part like this. Just keep pinning. I'll just go ahead and pin all through. Please just watch carefully and see how I'm pinning this down. It's not that difficult to do. So it's just like you pinning your gather to your main dress. So that's what I'm doing. So I just try as much as I can to adjust my gather to fit in. And you can see. So at that end part, you know, I've not yet stitched the two and the two tip of this gather piece together. So I left around half inch that I used to join it to the other side. So I'll now move to the other part and also start pinning down. So just watch at what I'm doing. So that you can understand what I'm doing. So just watch carefully. So when I reach at that end part, I left half an inch that I'll be using to join the two mouths together. See what I mean by that? So I'll go ahead, I'll pin that down. When I'm join, when I'm stitching my gather stitch to it, I'll go ahead and join it together. So this is what it's looking like. I'll be taking this to my sewing machine and so down so guys i'm done stitching it down and while stitching it i went ahead to remove the pins so this is what it's looking like i just go ahead and use the overlock machine and weave that part down so that is all for the dress so guys if you found this very helpful 
please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment at the comment section and please thank you so much for watching this video to this very moment i can't thank you a lot thank you so much see you on my next tutorial thank you